up? Welcome to our channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. I'm Kev. And I'm Suze. Stay tuned. We've got a great video for you today. It's the truth about Pompano Beach that no one tells you. And we thought this would be a lovely place to start our video. <laughs> We're in Pompano Beach, one of the Pompano Beach parks here that's actually on the water, kind of where three places come together. We're local realtors here in South Florida and we love doing videos. We've dropped quite a few of them. We really do. We get to see a lot of the sites. Even more than doing the videos, we really love to help people with their real estate needs. Any questions, any concerns, kind of things that are going on in the market now, just go ahead and drop us in a little box below. And if you've got any questions, we'll get straight back to you. Hopefully you'll consider subscribing. And so, we try to drop a video at least once a week. So today we're gonna to talk about the truth of about Pompano Beach, what it is that folks don't tell you. We're getting that from two different places. One is stuff that nobody told us when we came down here, and also stuff that we've talked to other folks when they've come out, our friends, our clients, mm -hmm. our prospective clients, stuff that nobody basically told them. One of the things that we thought we'd do is we'd start at one of the nice parks here. Pompano Beach, as the name implies, is one of the premier beaches here in South Florida, in Broward County. Actually, where we are right now is kind of a little bit confusing. We're at kind of the connection of three places. We're on the intercoastal and we are, right now we're standing on Papano Beach. Across the intercoastal, you can see behind us, hopefully, is a lighthouse at Lighthouse Point. Just across the road from here is Hillsborough Inlet. Well, actually it's across the bridge. But if you do hear a bell ringing, it's because the drawbridge is going up. What's the truth about Pompano Beach and what is it that people aren't telling you? What's gonna tell you a little bit, sort of the basics. Where is Pompano Beach? Pompano Beach is in Northern Broward County. It's one of the larger metropolitan areas outside of Fort Lauderdale. It's got a population of about 110,000. And for those of you that kind of follow this kind of stuff, the average elevation is three feet. For areas closer to the water where we are, when the storm comes through, you need to be careful. In the summertime, when the rains come down, you need to be a little careful. That's one of the things people don't tell you about, what happens when we get the heavy storms coming through. Right, so Pompano Beach is located in between Deerfield Beach. It's very close to Boca Raton. It's about 20 minutes from Fort Lauderdale. As we were saying earlier, we're going to kind of give you a flavor for what we're looking at and we're seeing. See the Hillsborough Lighthouse over here. One of the things that uh, they don't tell you is how to get around the water taxi. There's some folks out here fishing. You see them kind of walking behind me. See if they can catch some fish here and there. We're out on the intercoastal. One of the cool things about Pompano Beach and things people don't want people to tell you about it is that there's only a couple of ways to access the beach from Pompano Beach. You can go across the bridge at Atlantic Boulevard, which takes you out to the beach area. The other thing is, is that you can go across the bridge right here on 14th, the causeway, and you can see the Pompano Beach Hills Road Bridge that takes you from Pompano Beach into Hillsboro. It's a little bit of a challenge getting into the beach, but if you plan things accordingly and you kind of watch the schedules for the drawbridges going up, then you're usually in pretty good shape. sitting in front of the Pompano Beach Community Center. Here at the center, they've got aquatics, they've got volleyball, they've got basketball, they've got fields here, nice playground for the kids, nicely groomed. So let's go take a walk and you can see some of the things that they have available here at the Pompano Beach Community Center. area for the kids. They've got a museum and we're going to head on into the museum. Pay $50 to take a tour of the lighthouse. It's offered a couple of Saturdays. So here we go.
you're signing up for what, Kev? The Lighthouse Tour. Tour. The Lighthouse Tour. Oh. So you can walk to the top of the lighthouse. Yeah, from the original Lighthouse Keeper cabins are there, cottages. And uh, actually, they are probably going to be occupied because they actually rent them out for R&R &R for retired or active military people. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's very nice. He's so, he's retired military. Then you can, oh. you can see there's usually someone there that will tell you about it. Reservations oh. and everything. Oh, that's interesting. One of the things that most people didn't know about Pompano Beach is the Canine Corner Dog Park. Huge dog park located right in the center of the big park in Pompano Beach Park, kind of adjacent to the airfield, to Gallupies, which is kind of a cool place to go hang out. But it's a huge, huge pet park, dog park. There is a fee going with it. I think it's 30 bucks a year for Pompano Beach residents. And it's like 60 bucks a year if you're not a Pompano Beach resident. But uh, as you can see from the number of folks that are out here right now, it is definitely well worth it. And because it is in the parkland itself, it's actually very, very well taken care of. It's a very cool thing to know about Pompano Beach that you guys have a place where you can take your little furry family members out for a time and they can go hang out and relax. Oh, there's one thing. For those that have smaller dogs, there is separate parks for smaller dogs. And for those of you that have larger dogs, like my brother who's in Newfoundland, they have a larger dog park. You know, your dog's gonna be safe that way. For all of our furry friends and the ones that we love, right? So one of the things that we found, it's really not put out there a whole lot about Pompano Beach, is the abundance of parkland. So you have the big Pompano Beach Community Park, which is where we are today. And it's got everything. It's got everything for you. It has athletic fields. It has all kinds of big parking lots. It's got a big aquatic center. There's so many things about Pompano Beach that you can't even find on a website or folks don't really talk about, kind of unless you ask them. It's really important that if you're thinking about moving here, and we certainly hope that you are, we love being down here ourselves, being around here. If you like being down here, if you think about moving down here, a lot of things that you need to ask. Now, there's a couple of things that if you are contemplating moving down to Pompano Beach, as I said, we certainly encourage you to those of you who want you to do so as both a realtor and a property owner in Pompano Beach. There's a couple of things that you need to know about that you need to be aware of. I don't want to call them gotchas in as much as I just want to call them pretty much a beware, if you will. Probably the best way of putting it is basically to beware. For those of you that are not familiar with Florida, the South Florida areas, each of the different cities, Pompano Beach included, Margate, Tamarack, Coconut Creek, Coral Springs, anytime you want to make any kind of changes to your residence, it typically requires a permit, any type of material change. Now, obviously things like painting and putting up wallpaper and stuff like that, they don't necessarily require require a permit and the permits are a little bit more stringent if you're in a multifamily area much like a condo or a townhouse a little less stringent if you're in your home but basically if you're doing anything it's going to impact the power the structure the electricity or the water you really need to go out and look and getting a permit and if you're in a multi-family building like a condo or a townhouse if you're on the first floor you're usually pretty good if you're on any floors above that if you're going to replace a flooring or anything like that you need to get a permit as a realtor we've gone through this a couple times and you need to look really carefully because a couple of our last sales we actually had to go back after the fact and get what they call permits after the fact now, what those are is basically work has been done and for whatever reason, either a permit wasn't pulled or the permit itself wasn't completed. In both cases, this happened before our clients, the last sellers had even bought the house. One of them was a permit back from 2005 for a pool that was never closed out by the contractor. And the other one was for an air conditioner, an HVAC unit that was never closed out by the contractors. While it's very important for you to make sure that you get the permits pulled, having the work being done, it's also just as important, if not more so, that you go back and make sure that the permits are closed out when all the work has been done and the inspections have been done because it can, and in one case, it basically can either cause a delay in closing or in one case, it caused us to have to escrow funds at closing so that we could go back and make sure that it got taken care of. Now, this is something that is the responsibility of the owner, obviously, 
but it's also something that as a realtor we take very very seriously and go back and look to make sure that everything gets done and everything is taken care of most of the permit information is online but you're really not going to know until the title company goes back and actually starts doing lien checks and doing permit checks to make sure that everything is being done make sure that if you're going to have any work done check with the city of pompano beach building department if it requires a permit if it does go ahead and get that done and get and make sure you get that closed out when all the work has been done otherwise it can come back to haunt you and come back to bite you if you're trying to buy write that down now some of the other things about pompano beach that we found that are really really neat is pompano beach like some of the other cities that we've done videos on and talked about it's almost like two different cities. You have the Pompano Beach area, which is close to the beach, which you've seen some of our videos on. And if you haven't, we encourage you to, to go back and take a look at them and check them out. But Pompano Beach also has a very, very mixed use area. It has industrial areas where we are right now, kind of outside the park around the airport and the airport. Pompano Beach has something for just about everybody. You have some of the beach areas and some of the really, really nice properties in the beach areas. You have areas that are away from the beach and have some beautiful neighborhoods and some very, very nice areas around there too. It's just something that you need to go back and take a look at. You need to be looking for. One of the things that we found was kind of a nice hidden gem and you hear a little bit about it but basically it's the Isles Casino and Racetrack and it's right in the middle of Pompano Beach and it's undergoing a the reason that you've heard about it or may have heard about it is because it's recently taken over by one of the big casino management companies and they're doing a massive renovation of it. They're going to increase the size of the casino. They're going to put more restaurants in there. They're going to put some housing in there. They're going to put some resort amenities in there. It's going to be awesome but it, right now it's a casino and it's a harness racing track. It's actually kind of cool if you haven't seen it, I would encourage you to take a look at it. Suzanne and I, we love going over and watching it. Pompano Beach also has this huge farmer's market on the weekends. It's a massive, massive farmer's market. It goes over on every Saturday. And in fact, there's talk about it even expanding out to Sunday and it may already have done that. In conjunction with that, they have a big food truck fair going on. There's a lot of things that are being done that, that aren't necessarily broadcast out that kind of make Pompano Beach kind of a fun place to kind of hang out and kind of be there. Again, just kind of checking out some of those things there and kind of finding out what's going on. One of the other things about Pompano Beach is that Pompano Beach actually has a little bit lower taxes than some of its neighbors, Coral Springs, Coconut Creek, and Parkland. You can find nice homes. Real estate taxes around here are a little bit lower than some of the other places. There are, of course, places that are a little bit lower than that. Margate and Tamarack are a little bit lower. But Pompano Beach, for the size that it is, and for kind of the reputation that it has as one of the larger suburbs of Fort Lauderdale. It has a lot to offer around it. There's a lot of things that are out there that are kind of the nice little hidden gems going around. Parkland is certainly one of them. The Isles Casino, hanging out at this wonderful big, big community park. Pompano Beach considers itself to be very innovative from the standpoint of going out now and making changes in the infrastructure. This is something you read a little bit about, unfortunately, what you really only hear about are kind of the negative things that are going out where people don't like what's happening. They have a complaint about it. They're closing down traffic so they can widen the lanes that are ultimately going to be good for everybody. But they complain about it because it's blocking traffic now without kind of acknowledging the benefits of what's going to happen. So Pompano is very, very innovative when it comes to that. Pompano is also very, very innovative when it comes to looking at what's been done out at the Pompano Beach Pier. Now, those of you that have seen our videos on Pompano Beach, I have seen the videos around the pier. The pier is incredibly awesome. They've done a complete renovation of that whole area by the beach basically everything between the intercoastal and the beach there's new restaurants a lot more parking the parking is much more reasonable because there's a whole lot more of it the pier is absolutely gorgeous it's recently done and I believe that if you live in Pompano Beach and it shows on your driver's license or anything like that I don't think it costs you anything to get out on the pier they're gonna see how long they can go with that and not have to charge people to get on the pier that's kind of a cool thing too so there's a lot of good things going on in Pompano Beach and again we don't want to paint it all as kind of being ominous are kind of being bad like anywhere else if you're contemplating moving here whether you're going to rent or own we suggest that you ask questions we suggest that you find a realtor who's familiar with the area who knows what's going on done their homework so that it can augment whatever homework that you need to do Hopefully you've gotten some great information from this and you found it a little bit interesting and maybe some parts of it you actually found amusing. If you have, terrific. We hope you'll consider subscribing to us. If you have any questions at all, please drop them in the box down below. We'll get back to you straight away. If there are some areas that you're interested in specifically around Pompano Beach, maybe you're interested in a couple of condos, maybe you're interested in one of the neighborhoods, let us know. Drop us a note, let us know. We'll be more than happy to go back out and do some research and run a video for you. Until next time, take care.